What's up everybody, it's Crypto here and doing a video on overclocking my motherboard which is the Gigabyte Z97 Gaming 3 and this video is requested by Carlos Gonzalez, forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, but I think it's right. So yeah, to overclock the board you want to go into your UEFI dual BIOS or just BIOS, dual BIOS is just I mean it has a backup and a main BIOS chip. And when you go into it, you might be faced with uh, this screen, or you might be in this classic startup. For the for the purpose of this video, I'll be using ST or Smart Tweak, I think it means mode. And you've got a frequency. Now, there are other things you can do. Like, uh, see, I have turbo disable because I am actually overclocked to uh, 3.8. I'm only on a stock cooler so I don't really want to take it higher because when I'm gaming you know I've got this thing about temperatures. So you want the base clock, you really want that on auto uh, and you want to set the uh, CPU upgrade. If you're using a 4770K use these but I'm not so I'm going to leave it on auto and here you'll see CPU clock ratio now, that's really, now, 3.8, or 38 means 3.8, so you can just adjust that, so that's going to be 3.7, if you look it's changing them as I click down to, you know, any clock speed which the processor can actually manage, although it does seem to go back to 3 GHz after a while, it just goes back again, so... I'm going to bring it back up to uh, I don't know 3.8. That's because it's what it ran stable at. And yeah, if you want to disable, <coughs> pardon me, guys. <coughs> so uh, yeah, there's killer overclock enabled. I just used that because it was there. Uncore frequency is at 3.4, and I want the turbo boost if you are overclocking disabled. Uh, helps with it just helps to have it off you don't have to have it off but you won't benefit if anything I think just the physics of it it'll either do nothing or throttle back to 3.8 if you have it uh, higher than that so yeah you're really done here memory overclocking you know you have a memory multiplier option mine's at 2400 megahertz and I've run fast boot enhanced performance memory I've really got all the optimal Settings as far as I can tell. So you want to save and exit, and you want to save and reset, and you should have an overclock on your CPU. And there is. I'm only on stock cooler at the moment, so I'm not going to really want to take it any higher. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope this helped out. Comment, rate, subscribe.